This is the most expensive baseball item I have ever purchased in my entire life. I have bought thousands and thousands of things, but this right here is the most expensive. This ran me about $4,000, and uh, I won't lie, when I bought it, I kind of threw up. I've never spent that much money on anything besides my car. That's about it. Now, obviously, you guys read the title. You know exactly what this is. This is the most expensive pitching machine you can buy. Now, there are ones that are a little bit more expensive, but it's the same brand and everything. I just didn't want to spend like 15,000 on one because that one is a little bit too much for me, okay? Now, the only difference between this one and the $15,000 one is there is a touch screen. You just push whatever pitch you want and it throws that pitch. So I'm not gonna spend $15,000 on one where I can choose a fastball or a curveball. I'm gonna manually do it, manual, manually do it. Words. All right, so we're gonna unbox this thing, set it up and try it out. Now these staples, hopefully they just kind of pop out here. Oh, nice. Okay, this is actually going way easier than I thought. This looks quite intense, I'm not gonna lie. This looks quite intense, um, a little dirty. And we're in, step one complete. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I think it might be easier if I just rip the box apart, but if this thing doesn't work, how am I supposed to ship it back? Ugh. Maybe some scissors would be great. All right, part one complete. I am literally completely out of breath. All I did was like literally squat down. I guess when you buy expensive stuff, they screw it down to the bottom. So I gotta go get a screwdriver and unscrew it. God dang it, I don't think I have one. One second. All right, we're ready to go, baby. I won't lie, when I bought this, I was afraid I was gonna open this and there was gonna be about 4,000 parts. Done. It is unscrewed, baby. Woo. Okay, and if you look right here, actually, it was inspected 91422 by CW, or maybe that's an L, I don't know. But this thing better work. It was inspected like two weeks ago. If it's already broken, someone's face is getting broke. Just kidding. Just kidding. Why did I not bring scissors? Does anyone know? Yes, because I'm an idiot. I think, unfortunately, I'm about to go in and get freaking scissors. God dang it, I was just in there. Oh no. All right, people, that is how you break a drill. I, this, okay, um, I'll be back. Okay, I was unable to find scissors, but I found these. Should work, I think, hopefully. Easy as that, oh my God. Woo! We did it. Now this is how you move it. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, well there it is, it's all set up. Uh, you know, it was pretty easy, I won't lie. Now this thing can throw a baseball up to 100 miles per hour. Actually, I heard it can go 105, but uh, I'm a little scared because I am launching this thing that way. Now, I don't know what to expect. I could completely miss the net and put a hole through the door. That would really suck, but there's only one way to find out what happens. We're gonna test it out, I, I don't know. I don't know, this is probably way too much equipment for me because I'm an idiot, but too late now let's test it out baby i could be way off but if you look through the hole it's a little low but i'd rather it go low than way too high so let's plug this thing in oh god okay baby oh come on imagine if this doesn't even freaking work oh i would cry i would cry power on oh yeah baby Woo! we got live all right it might be a little annoying that buzz but Whatever. Okay, we're just gonna try it out, all right? This is literally zero speed. I just wanna make sure it's going the correct direction. Make sure nothing's blocking it. All right, not, not a good pitch, but hang on. Okay, this is apparently a 60 to 70 mile per hour fastball right here. Oh, and this actually is sick. See, the, the wheels have to catch up to speed, so once that turns green, we're gonna let it go, and this thing is really going quick. Oh my God. Yeah, this is gonna be way too low. I guarantee you this hits straight down. Three, two, one. Oh my God, that is quick. All right, I raised it up a little bit. Let's see if we can throw a strike. Oh my God. That, that is literally so fast. Oh my God. All right, I gotta lower it a little bit. Let's try it again. Oh, the dog wants to go get it. See, buddy. I mean, that's pretty good, right? That might still be a little bit hot. God, that is so fast. It says this is supposed to be 60 to 70 miles per hour. I'll be the judge of that. 
30, 72. So that's the fastball. That's 70 miles per hour. Seems a little bit faster than that in my uh, in my opinion, but it's we're pretty close. We're only like 40 feet away. So if we were like 60 feet or whatever, it, it's probably correct. But let's throw a curveball here. Okay, so yeah, again, there was like a $15,000 one of these, which is like way more than this one. And that's what's nice about that one is you can choose the pitch and then it throws that pitch. You don't have to adjust the settings or whatever. It just does it on its own. But again, for an extra $10,000 or whatever, I'm not doing it. But the curveball is ready to go, okay? Now, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but let's just see what happens. Curveball, three, two, one. All right, straight down. Hang on, let me raise. Okay, here we go. This should be a little bit better. That's a, that's a dirty curveball. Yeah, I'm definitely not touching that. And this is like the high, or this is, this is the youth league. I'm going to crank it up to the college pro level. Okay, hang on. Oh my God. Just hearing the wheels spin, this is going to be disgusting. I honestly might hit the, the barn on this one. I'm, I'm afraid. Okay, this is the pro college level right-handed curveball. I really hope this doesn't go too high, but it's a curveball, so it should go down no matter what. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so, that is so fast. Yeah, no one is touching that. We, we're definitely gonna have to mess with these settings, but there is also a knuckleball setting. So I'm gonna put on the knuckleball and we're gonna see what this does. I'm assuming it's just slow, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so again, this was $4,000. So if you guys could please hit that like button. We have so many things planned with this thing. I am also gonna build a batting cage in that barn, okay? It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of money, but if you guys want it, I will do it, okay? Um, I'm talking like tens of thousands of dollars. It's gonna be so expensive, but if you guys want it, I will freaking do it. So let me know in the comment section below if you think I should. And also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. But the knuckleball is ready. Let's go. Knuckleball is ready. We have four on the left, four on the right, and three and a half on the bottom. If this does no spin, that would be insane, but I don't know. All right. It's, it has a little bit of knuckleball spin. It's, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. And again, we aren't really far enough away. I think you probably got to be like 60 feet away. We're probably like 30 or 40 feet. So if we put this back farther, I'm sure it would be gross and we still might do that. But I want to look at what a 100 mile per hour fastball looks like. So I'm going to crank this up and we're going to launch a 100 mile per hour fastball. Okay, so I turned it up to this setting. High school, college, pro. It is 6, 6, and 10. Now, I don't know what happens if I turn these both to 10. Maybe we will find out. But this should be extremely quick. Could potentially put a hole through the door, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. That is quick. That is quick. Hang on. 86. Not good enough. We're cranking it up even more. This is this is max power. Okay. 10, 10, 10. Doesn't even say to do that. So this could be really stupid. But let's go. And I know it doesn't look fast on camera, but this thing is zooming. And you're gonna see right here with this fastball. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is so fast. All right, go stand in. Yeah. <laughs> 106. <laughs> oh my. And again, we're like 30 feet away. So if you were standing up there, that's probably like a 300 mile per hour fastball. Okay, this is a 105 mile per hour fastball. Hopefully this looks good. I have no idea. That's, that's not quick at all. Yeah, all right. Okay, a few more fastballs, just so you guys can really see how fast this is going. I mean, it said 105. It's hard to like imagine how quick this is on camera. It's so quick. Like, hopefully this shows you how quick it is. I mean, dude, it gets there so quick, it's not even funny. And one more radar, just so little Timmy's like, that was Photoshopped. Look, 111. So a little bit quicker. <laughs> 111 miles per hour. $4,000 pitching machine again. I have so many ideas with this thing, it's not even funny. It was so expensive, so please hit that like button, right? Again, if, you, if a lot of you guys want it, I will build a batting cage in that bar. 
It's gonna cost me like $10,000, but I'll freaking do it if you want. So let me know in the comment section below if you're new, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this pitching machine. Let's go have some fun, baby. Peace.